What's up? This is Alex Chu coming at you with another episode. This episode, I want to tell you why women are less romantic today, you know, comparing to women of the uh, 1980s or 1990s. Okay, and uh, what you should do about it, all right? But before I talk about that, I want to tell you, my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented the physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers, drink sleepy, wear them, you don't age anymore, become physically immortal. For example, I'm already 53. See, I'm still pretty skinny, right? Don't have any belly fat like that. How do I keep so slim? I never go to the gym. You know, if you go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, I have lots of testimonials from uh, cust uh, Amazon customers. Most of them give me four star, five star. You, if you want to look like me when you're 53, you know, livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com, link is at the bottom of this video. And also, I'm giving out free immortality rings, okay? You know, like, if you're curious, you know, you, 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 you're curious about my technology, but you don't want to spend money, you know, time is hard right now, you don't want to spend any money, well, you could get free rings from me, okay? All you have to do is go to my, uh, go to my affiliate, okay, this is what, this is what you have to do, all you have to do is give me 40 clicks, you know? I have an affiliate program, right? And you put my link code on your Facebook page, or on your Twitter, or on your Instagram, whatever, or on other people's bulletin boards, right? When 40 people clicked on the uh, affiliate link code, you know, and I'll give you, a, I'll send you a pair of these free rings, okay? So you can sign up for this affiliate program at free.livemuchlonger.com. It's free.livemuchlonger.com, okay? Or there's a link at the bottom of this video. Just click on it and you can join this program. Just, you know, all you have to do is bring me 40 visitors and I'll give you a fair, pair of these free rings, okay? But anyway, uh, today, yeah, I want to talk about why, you know, women are less romantic nowadays, you know, comparing to uh, 1980s, 1990s, you know. Because I'm already 53, I remember how it was back in the days, you know. Back in the days, women are a lot more romantic, you know. You, you ever watch that, you know, you used to watch that movie, The Titanic, right? I believe it, it came out in 1999, you know. Jack Dawson, he, he was, he was, I mean, he he's homeless. He was a homeless guy. You know, he's... He went to the first class cabin, right? And then he said, all I need is some air in my lung and blood in my veins, you know? And I can travel the world. And, and he's, he's uh, making, a, make, making a very good impression on, uh, on the girl, right? Kate Winslet, right? Rose, Rose, yeah. He's making a very good impression on Rose, you know? See, back in the day, that's believable. You know, the, guy is, the guy is homeless. I mean, he is, he's a bum. He... He has no credential. He didn't go to college. He did. He's, he's just some homeless guy, you know, who who draws draws people. And it's just. But then back in the days, it really it really was like that. You understand? Women really aren't that romantic. I I've experienced it before. You know, when I was a uh, when I was like twenty three or twenty four, I was a sushi chef, right? I was making sushi, right? I dated many many girls back in the days. Hey, you know what? Every time I date a girl, they never ask me. Uh, the, the girls that I dated, you know, it's like, back in the days, all you need is a job. All you have to have is a job, okay? Uh, girls don't really care about, you know, what college did you go to? What, what is your, do you have a college degree? You know, how much, they never ask you how much money do you earn. Back in the days, girls never asked that. They never ask you how much money do you earn, you know? As long as you're fun to be with, you know, you're, you're, you look okay, you're not too ugly, you're fun to be with, you know, you're, you're humorous, then uh, you're considered okay. You know, as long as you have a job, okay? Because back in the days, I was a waiter, I was a sushi chef. You know, those are, you know, I was a sushi chef, I was a kitchen helper, basically. I was earning $4.25. That's minimum wage, you know. And then, uh, because I was a kitchen helper, you know, the my my the master chef, he, he kept all the tips from me. I don't get any tips, you know. So I was, I was living a very, very meager life back in the days. But... I dated many girls, and they, they didn't care. They, they never asked me how much money do you earn, or... Uh, they just want, you know, they as long as you look okay, they're willing to go out with you, you know? Um, yeah, I had I had many, many good chances back in the days. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't... Uh, but but then... But but uh, if you compare the girls today, right? They're not like that at all. Girls, girls nowadays, it's like... 
you know, basically a date is like an interview. It's like a job interview. You know, they they ask you up front, how much money do you make a year? It's very common nowadays. You, you go on a date with some girl. They're going to ask you, what is your job? Do you have a college degree? How much money do you make a year? You know, it's like, what kind of car do you drive? It's like when you go on a, yeah, nowadays it's like that. You know, you go on a date. It's like, it's like a total job interview. They're going to look into every little aspect of your life, you know. So nowadays it's, it's really tough, you know. Back in the days it was so romantic, you know. How come how come girls didn't care back in the days, you know? As long as you're not too ugly, you're you're fun to be with, you know. You you did not say anything to offend her, you know. She'll stick to you. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money you have. In fact, back in the days, if you if you boast about your money, right? I remember back in the days uh, when I was when I started selling rings online, I started boasting about my money. Girls didn't like that. I, I, I remember back in the days so when I started boasting about my money, you know, they I actually I actually created negative impression, you know, on, on the on the women, you know. Back in the days they women they like humble men, you know, uh, men that are humble and fun to be with is the reason is because uh, back in the days there were no internet, there's no social media, you know. There's no Back in the days, there's no cell phone. I mean, there, there are cell phones, but they don't have, like, one of those white, you know, iPhones, right? You can check your, mo you can check your uh, Instagram or your Facebook, and, and people, you know, there's a whole bunch of simps. The guys, they love, they love bomb you, right? They say, hello, queen, hello, beautiful. They, back in the days, they don't have stuff like that, you know? You don't just op pop, you know, open your phone, and then you see a whole bunch of guys kissing your ass. They, they don't have that. There, back in the days, there were no social media, you know? So, uh, a large portion of entertainment comes to comes from live guys. You understand? Like, back in the days, to to a girl, a, a real, real living boyfriend is quite important because that's where most of the entertainment comes from. That's where most of the romance comes from, you know? You can imagine, back in the days, all you have is TV, radio, and... Uh, Maybe VHS cassette tapes, you know, video cassette tapes, you know, you know, you go to the movies from time to time, you know, that's all they have back in the day. So a, a real life boyfriend is very important, right? So girls back in the days, they don't really, they don't ask you how much money do you make up front. They don't do that, you know, they just, they just, you got to be fun. You got to be fun to be with. You know, you, you you understand what romance is. You know, you can, you know, you you can uh, you you're charming enough to uh, attract them. Then then it's all good. You know, then girls would start calling you every day. I, I back in the days, I had a girl who calls me on the phone like every day. But then I I don't I sort of don't understand her. She's like, you you already have a boyfriend. What what are you talking about? Uh, you already have a boyfriend. Why do you why do you start calling me? Why do you why do you keep calling me? But anyway, I, I rejected her. I, I don't I don't do that. You know I don't like the drama. I don't I don't do the cheating shit. You know, but yeah, back in the days because they don't there's no social media, right? So a real life boyfriend is super important. You know, so they don't really ask you how much money you make. As long as you're fun to be with, and it's all that's the reason why if you watch that movie Titanic, it's. In in year nineteen ninety nine, that was still pretty realistic. You understand? I mean, I, I I wouldn't say I say most girls would not go with a bum like you know like a homeless guy like Jack Dawson, but it's still I mean it's still believable. I mean that in nineteen ninety nine that scenario is still believable. You know, nowadays it's uh totally unbelievable. That that scenario is. You 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 talking about falling in love with some homeless guy and you dump your millionaire millionaire boyfriend? I mean that's I don't know that scenario is not not uh, feasible nowadays. You know, no woman in the right mind would do that. You know, because women are less romantic now. Women they have their social media. Okay, nowadays women is like this, right? They. They they have they have a whole bunch of guys kissing their ass on their on their iPhone, right? They the moment they pop out their iPhone, they a whole bunch of guys are kissing his kissing her ass, right? And then women nowadays they have more, they have better jobs. You know, I remember in 1980, 1990, all right. It's like if you're a woman but you, you went to college, the most 
you know, the best job you could get is a secretary. It's like back in the days, yeah. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If you're a woman, the, it's like the best job you could have is, is, is like a secretary. That's it, you know? Maybe an accountant, maybe, or, or a bank official, somebody who, a loan officer in the bank, you know? There's no, back in the days, if you're like a woman, you're some, some manager, if you're like top manager of some firm, wow, that's pretty rare, you know? But nowadays, a lot of women, they're, they're getting these high position jobs, you know, like managers and, you know, managers and executives and shit like that, right? And they're earning more money now. Women are earning more money now. They, a lot more women graduated from college, they're earning more money now. You know, and they have a whole bunch of guys kissing her ass. She has a whole bunch of guys kissing her ass on her iPhone, right? So, you, you could have, you could, you could imagine. I mean, if you want to be my real life boyfriend, right? And also, because of social media, right? See, women nowadays, women they spend a lot of time on 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 the internet, right? Either on their iPhone or on their laptop. You know, they're spending a lot of time on the internet communicating with e with each other on the internet, right? They don't even have time for a boyfriend anymore. A lot of women, they just don't even have time for a real boyfriend anymore, you know? So you could imagine. Nowadays, it's like, looking for a boyfriend, it's, it's sort of like a job interview. It's like sort of hiring, you're hiring some man, you're hiring a man, you know, for, for some important position at home, you know? That's the reason why nowadays when, when you know, when, when you meet a guy online and then you date him and you know they they ask, the women will ask you a whole bunch of questions you know how much money do you earn you know what, what do you do for a living did you go to college a whole bunch of shit and they ask you it's not it's i mean it's not even romantic anymore it's 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 like a pure job interview you know it's like oh being my boyfriend is a job you know you got to provide me with, with what i don't have you know it's, See, back in the days, it wasn't like that. Back in the days, it was a boyfriend is is a, a real life boyfriend is is entertainment, you know. In the nineteen eighties, nineteen ninety, a real life boyfriend is uh, you know a very important source of entertainment for women. You understand? Without a real man, there is no romance, right? Because nobody is kissing your ass on your your phone, and. Uh, there is no social media. You cannot like con contact other people, right? Online. You, if you want to contact somebody, you have to call them, right? You have to call them on the phone, and it's just so it's better. It's more convenient to have a real boyfriend at home, right? You don't have to, you know, you, you cannot contact anyone as, uh, unless you're contacting somebody on the phone. And that's the reason why it's you have a a boyfriend sitting at home. It's a lot more convenient, right? But now it's. Without a boyfriend, a woman lives just fine, you know? Without a boyfriend, women could live just fine, you know? She's at home, a lot of, a lot of guys are kissing her ass you're on, on her iPhone, right? And then uh, she could communicate with other people online at any time, and it just... It's, yeah, guys, same thing, you know? For example, like me, I mean, I, I live just fine without a woman, right? I, I don't feel bored. I don't feel lonely without a woman. Not at all, because, you know, I'm 53 years old, right? I mean, in a few years, I'll be 60. And, uh, no, I'm, I'm doing just fine. I don't really need a woman, right? If I'm bored, I just go on, I just watch some YouTube videos or, or I don't know, go to some bulletin board and, uh, communicate with other people on the bulletin board. It's just, it's, it's totally fine, you know? And also, if you talking about women in the 1960s and 1950s, they are even more romantic. The reason is because back in the days, women, they, they have lots of children, you know? Women, they, they bore lots of children. The reason is because children are a form of uh, entertainment to, to women, you know? Back in the days, you, you you have a child. That that means a lot, you know. First first thing you do, you take it to the church to have it baptized, right? And then, you know, I mean, talking about I'm talking about you know 19, 1950s. I'm talking about the 1950s, okay, or even 1930s, 1940s, right? You take it to the church to get baptized, right? And then every like every Sunday, you take the you take your whole family to the church, right? 
spend like two or three hours at the church. And then you, at home, right, you teach your child, you teach your children how to do their homework, right? You teach your daughter how to bake a cake and shit like that, you know? Back in the days, it was a lot, I mean, there's a lot more, there's a lot more love and loyalty, you know, uh, between the family members, you know? So, I don't know, read, you know, bedtime, you know, bedtime story, like, be before your child go to sleep, right? You, you read your son some, a book, a story book, right? Bedtime stories, and I don't know. During the holidays, right, uh, relatives come to your house and everybody sit in front of a round table and some, you know, uncle played a guitar, you know, your aunt played a piano, right, your, where, where your daughter is playing the piano and stuff like that. It's like, back in the days, I mean, the family is a lot more valuable. Now, that's the reason why, and that's that's part of romance, am I right? That's part of romance, having having a, a nice husband and, and lots of children, that's... That's part of romance. It's part of life, right? But nowadays, it's like nowadays, you know, women they they um, they they give birth to children very late. You know, like they're ready to give birth to a child. You know, at age thirty three or age thirty four, right? I mean, the most you can give birth to is like one or two child. That's it, right? One or two child. And also nowadays, children they don't really they don't do that shit. You know, they don't like. Uh, Learn how to play the piano with, from from your father, or learn how to play play the piano from from your uncle. They don't learn. They don't do that shit no more. Nowadays, a lot a lot, you know, less family are buying pianos and guitars. You know, and nowadays kids they don't go to church, right? Do they go to church? No. A lot of people don't go to church nowadays. Kids they they lost communication with their mom and dads. You know. Kids, they don't even. I mean, when you go back home and you see your son, you know, she he he would say hi, mom. That's it. He doesn't. He barely speak to you. And kids are also spending their time online, right? They're they're using the social media to communicate with other people. They don't communicate with their parents anymore. So you can imagine, having kids is no longer romantic. It's no longer fun, right? It's not part of the entertainment anymore. That's the reason why. You know, marriage is, marriage is dissolving, you understand? A lot of men are giving up marriages. A lot of women, they also... A lot of, a lot of women are also giving up marriages, you know? But at the end of the day, women, they, they still want to get married, you know? Especially when they get older, when they're like 40, 50 year old. They want to get married. They want a man. You, wanna, you understand? Because at the end, without a man, you know, for women it is, yeah, they do feel, they do feel empty inside, they do feel more lonely without a man, you know, men don't think like that, though, I'm, I'm 50, and in a few years, I'll be 60, I'll, I'll be just fine, I don't need a woman, you know, but women don't think like that, you know, what, you could imagine, if, 50 year old woman, you know, and he doesn't have a husband, I mean, she doesn't have a husband, she doesn't have a boyfriend, whoa, yeah, she, she's gonna feel very lonely, you know, because women are a lot more emotional, you know. But but anyway, hey, that's all I want to talk. That's all I want to say for today. Hope you guys like my channel. Please subscribe if you like. Thanks.